Portugal's political parties were preparing for a landscape without Antonio Costa, who had been prime minister since 2015 but quit suddenly the day prior when he was implicated in a corruption probe. Marcelo Rebelo de Sousa, the conservative president met with the heads of the main political parties starting as he decides whether to ask a party leader to try to form a new government or to dissolve parliament and call for new elections. The main opposition parties on the left and right have already urged early elections. We need to start a new cycle by giving the Portuguese people back their voice, said Luis Montenegro, president of the Social Democratic Party, the main right-wing party. The Socialist Party, which has an absolute majority in Parliament, defended a solution involving the appointment of a new Prime Minister, according to party leader Carlos César who spoke after meeting the President. In the event of elections, the Socialists would prefer them to be held in March, which would give the party time to find a successor to Costa. Rebelo de Souza will meet with the Council of State, an advisory body that includes former presidents, before addressing the nation in the evening to announce his decision. The Prime Minister's resignation sent off shockwaves in Portugal, with newspaper headlines speaking of the end of a cycle, the earthquake of November 7, and a political bomb. After winning an absolute majority in January 2022, a rare feat among Europe's leftist parties, Costa has seen his popularity decline after a series of scandals.